According to some, Dr. Cynthia Mong is a drug smuggling absconder and terrorist. To others, she is the face of hope. In 1988, she fled the military crackdown in her Burmese home, trekking seven nights through the jungle across the border into Thailand. It's beautiful. <laughs> Because we we not been to the jungle before. We grew up in the city. She was stateless and homeless. But what appalled her more was the condition of the displaced villagers she met along the way. We learned that many villagers always under threats of military attack or landmine or no access to health service education. She begged and borrowed enough to start a tiny clinic that nearly 20 years later still caters to anybody crossing the border with a health problem. And that can mean anything from the world's deadliest strain of malaria to horrendous landmine injuries. Landmines seem to be the majority of the injuries. You have some congenital amputees who come in here, but um, most have been affected by the situation in Burma. A Nobel Prize nominee Dr. Cynthia has helped train young Burmese for work deep inside the conflict zone. Over 300 backpack medics slip across the Thai-Burma border, trekking for up to two weeks to treat displaced villagers hiding from the military. These young medics risk their lives for their work. Seven have already been killed by soldiers or landmines. They face a national tragedy in a country that spends 40% of its income on the military and only 3% on health. One of Dr. Cynthia's self-appointed tasks is to fill the gap for the mothers and children who are a constant presence in her life. More than 50% of pregnant women in this community deliver at home because they're afraid of the police arrest on the way. Initially, we only have four or five deliveries a year. Now today, we have more than 1,600 deliveries a year. So until now, we have more than 6,000 babies were born at the clinic here. I feel that we are sometimes mother of many people. Everybody feels that we still want to go back home. We want to rebuild our country because everybody wants to go back home with the human dignity.